And then a knife. Stone Age man, short circuiting evolution, leaping in the Bronze Age, the Iron Age, to reach the age of steel. The Tulambi remain weary, but decide to accept Jean-Pierre's hospitality. Metal plates, pots and pans are another wonder. Rice is totally unknown. Samjuga inspects it suspiciously. And Gio doesn't like the rice at all. But he changes his mind when I add salt. I'm concerned when Angio begins hitting his head. It turns out to be Tulambi body language for good. When Angio does it, it is a signal for the others to try the rice. Instead of the customary scoop-shaped leaf, Jean-Pierre offers Sanjuga a spoon, but it's the rice that inspires all the head-banging. <laughs> The modern idea that form follows function, that the design of the spoon will dictate its proper use, is obviously not self-evident. They soon forget the spoon and prefer to eat their usual way. My cameraman, Filippo Tiglione, can now get close to individuals without their paying any attention. They have grown accustomed to his face with its cyclop eye of a camera lens, and so pay no attention to him as they investigate the mystery of my camp. You're wondering what I'm here, 